Hey kids, welcome to Unit 1, Lesson 14, Two-Way Selection Statements, Exercise Number 4. We have another Choose Your Own Adventure. I'm going to go ahead and do B. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what we have to do. Well, let's see what we have to do. We're going to update the Decor Painter class to be a subclass of the Painter Plus class. We're going to make the method make right turn to choose the direction to turn based on whether the decor painter object can move south. And we got some hints right here. If a decor painter object can move south and it's not facing south, it should turn right. Otherwise, if the decor painter object cannot move south and cannot move forward, it should turn left. We're going to write the method finish street to turn a decor painter object to face west and paint the last street. And then we're going to call the paint streets method to navigate our painter through this maze right here. This isn't too bad. They give us exactly what we have to do right here. Let's take a look at our code. Nothing much right here. Let's take a look at our decor painter. We have a paint streets method here. It takes one parameter color. It looks like while it can move, it's going to paint. And it calls two other methods, make turn and finish street. Check for bucket. This is checking if it's on a bucket. If it has paint, it's checking if it has paint. I also want you to notice the take all paint method here is being called. I'm going to talk about that in a second. We have to write the make turn and then the finish street method called from above. First thing we have to do is actually get our painter plus method over. So I'm going to go to my backpack and go to painter plus. When you pull in your painter plus method, it is important that you have the take all paint. Notice mine does not. If you don't, you can get it from over here. Just click. Copy the take all paint. Control C. Come back here. Control V. And we have the take all paint method. This will not work without the take all paint method in your painter plus. Just be aware of that. Let's go ahead and work on number two our make turn method. And if you see up here, if we translate this to some plain pseudocode, if I can move south and if I am not facing south, I want to turn right. And for our second statement, otherwise or else, if I cannot move, I'm going to turn left. That otherwise is an important statement. That is our else or two-way selection statement. In a two-way selection statement, we specify a block of code that runs when the condition is true and a block of code that executes when the condition is false. This is going to be our first use of the else statement. What does that look like? Well, we have to do that first if statement. If, we need some curly cues. This is first if and this one is if I can move south so if I can move which direction south and as long as I am not facing south we need another if statement here the and throws a lot of students off we haven't got to compound conditions yet so this is a nested if statement this is our inner if. We should rename this one to our outer if. And this one's saying as long as I am not facing south. We have a is facing south method. And if I want to reverse that, as long as I am not facing south, I can put my exclamation point in front. Well, as long as those two things aren't happening, I am going to turn right. And that is our first part of that statement, F number one. 
Our second is going to be our else. This is going to be end of else. This should be our end of method. We can clean this up a little. Now else, if I cannot move, I should turn left. So if, some curly cues, this is my if statement. If I cannot move, so I have a can move, and we want the reverse of that. If I cannot move, I just want to turn left. So that should take care of our first two. We can test this out by going back to our neighborhood and instantiating our object. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our neighborhood. We need to go through and instantiate our object. This is from the Decor Painter. It is Rhodes. There's going to be a new Decor Painter object. No arguments yet. Now we need to call our object and method, and it's the paint streets method. And if you remember, our paint streets method takes one parameter color. So we're going to go our roads, paint streets, and we'll use the color white. Looks like I got a little spelling error here. Should be streets. Now when I hit run, I should get my painter to paint a pretty close to the end down to here. Well, let's see if I'm right. Oh, we got an error. Let's see what our first one is. Hmm. Cannot find symbol that can move. Oh, I think I forgot to do the first thing. This needs to be a subclass of Painter Plus. Let's go up here and go to Extends to make this a subclass of Painter Plus. And Painter Plus is a subclass of Painter, so this is now a subclass of Painter as well. Let's clear, hit Run, and see if that fixed our issue. Speed this up a little. There you go, we got our first part to run. Now we need to take care of the second part, the finished street. This is going to turn our object to face west and paint the last street. That doesn't sound too hard. Let's go and find the last spot to write, our finished street. First thing we need to do is spin this around. And right now we're facing west, so we're gonna say, as long as the object is not facing west, we want to turn left. So while, need our curly cues here, end of while, while is facing west. We want the reverse of that though, as long as it's not, we want to turn left. Clean this up here. This should get us to spin around. Let's hit run and just check it. And it does. Now we just have to move forward. And we're going to use the same method we've seen a couple of times. While we have paint, we want to move and then check to make sure we have paint. Rinse and repeat. What's that look like? Well, while, some more curly cues. This is our end of while. While I can move. And if I have paint, remember the method from above. Paint if has paint. So I'm going to call this method here to see if we have the current space has paint. We can copy that there because I know I'm going to misspell that. 
and we want to pass along our color. We have a parameter being passed along here, color. So we have to use that. Then we're going to move and then check for bucket to see if we still have paint and check for bucket here is just checking to make sure if we're on paint to take all of the paint there. And we have two of those we have to get. Now, when I hit run, my painter should pick up the paint and paint all the way to the end. Well, let's see if that's what happens. Oh, looks like we have an error. I can tell I missed a semicolon right there in my excitement. Let's clear, hit run. And it looks like my painter made it all the way to the end. Key to this project, kids, is really looking back to the last lesson in decomposition. This problem was already broken down for us by code.org. They gave us the directions. I turned it into pseudocode. And from that pseudocode, it was easier for me to write the code. And if you see here, this is my pseudocode that I worked off of, their instructions. So again, if a problem seems too complicated, break it down to the smaller components. Those small components are usually pretty simple and help us solve the larger problem. For this one, it was really just turn rights and turn lefts. Hopefully this video helped you understand two-way selection statements a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.